So far, we're aware that equations in two variables have many solutions. Previously, when we've had a question about a specific solution, we've asked that question by giving the value of one of the variables and finding the associated value of the other. In general, in fact, in order to specify a specific solution to an equation in two variables, we need more information. But sometimes that additional information doesn't just take the form of giving the value of one variable. Instead, it takes the form of another entire equation. So for example, let's say we have these two equations. Suppose we know that 2x plus 3y is 13 and that y is 2x minus 1. This bracket here means that these equations are together. We want a solution that works in both equations. When we have a pair of equations, or more generally, any list of equations that are together in this way, where we want a solution for all of the equations at the same time, we refer to that as a system of equations. In this case, we have a system of two equations with two unknowns. We can have systems with more equations, and we can have systems with more unknowns. Typically, in order to get a unique solution, we need to have as many equations as we have unknowns. So if we had three unknowns, we would need three equations. Four unknowns, we would need four equations, and so on. In this class, we're only going to work with the two by two case. That is, we're only going to work with the systems where we have two equations and two unknowns. Okay. What does it mean to have a solution to a system? Take a look at this system up here. Notice that to pick a point at random, 2, 1 doesn't work in either equation. Plugging into the first equation, 2 times 2 plus 3 times 1, that's 7, which is not 13. Plugging into the second equation, 2 times 2 minus 1, that's 3, which is not 1. Okay, so 2, 1, definitely not a solution to the system. What about the point 4, 7, say? Well, 2 times 4 plus 3 times 7 is 29, which is not 13. Um, 2 times 4 minus 1, that does equal 7. So 4, 7 works in the second equation, but not the first equation. So 4, 7, also not a solution to the system. What about the point 5, 1? Notice I brought a copy of the system down here so we could see it. Um, 2 times 5 plus 3 times 1 is 13. But on the other hand, 2 times 5 minus 1 is 9, which is not 1. So 5, 1 works in the first equation, but not in the second. Therefore, 5, 1 is not a solution to the system. What does it look like when a point is a solution to the system? Let's look at the point 2, 3. 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3, that is 13. And 2 times 2 minus 1, that is 3. So the point 2, 3 works in both of the equations. So 2, 3 is a solution to the system. What does it mean then to be a solution to the system? A solution to a system of equations is just a list of values for all the variables 
that make all of the equations true.